In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert a footnote into your Microsoft Word document. Now, I'm going to be using Word for Mac for this particular tutorial, but if you're a Windows user, the process is pretty much the same, so you should still be able to follow along. Now, you can see a little example of a footnote that I have added here. So basically, it just pops a number in wherever you want it to go, and then you can put a text-based note at the foot of the page. So we've already got one in position here. Let me show you how you can add that for yourself. So I want to add it after this little bit here where it says cover page within this particular numbered list. So we're going to link up to a little bit more information about, for example, what a cover page is. So all we need to do is just position the cursor where we want the footnote to go. And then we're gonna go up to the references tab and you'll see the second group along here, we have the option to insert footnote. Now it's worth mentioning because I already have a footnote in this particular document, this won't add it as number one. Doing this is going to add it as number two because it's essentially the second footnote within the document. So we'll click on insert footnote and you'll see the number two gets added just next to this particular piece of text. And then if we scroll down, it has actually added a line to this page near the footer. It's actually just above the footer. If we go into the footer, you can see there's a footer there and it sits just above it. And we can basically type in our footnote. So this is the second footnote. Now, if you want to add another one, let's say for example, for the um, case study section here, all we do is position the cursor, then go back to references, and then we do insert footnote again, and that will become number three. Now, the good thing about these footnotes is you can type your text, but you can also include web-based links, and that's exactly what you see on the likes of Wikipedia. So if this particular one is around case study, we might say something like um, view, this new case study and then we can actually put a link out so we could put a link to i don't know case study.com or so we could select that and then we could use the um hyperlink option so right click and link or what we could do is we could actually select the case study text here right click and choose link and then we can use the link to web page. Now, if you're interested in learning about how to properly hyperlink your text within your document, then I have a separate video which you'll find using the card above. So make sure you check that one out if you're interested. But in this case, I'm just gonna quickly link out to casestudy.com and then we'll click OK. And then you'll see we've actually got a clickable hyperlink within this particular footnote. Now, you'll see that these two are number two and three. So if I was to maybe make a change to number one, how would I do that? Well, first of all, what you'd want to do is you want to come into here if you just want to make a change to the footnote. So we could say in here, this is the first footnote. Now that's fine, it's made a little change to the text there. If you want to delete the footnote itself, what you shouldn't do is just make a selection like this and then press the delete key. Because what you're doing there is you're deleting the footnote at the bottom, but you're not actually deleting the footnote itself. You'll see the number is still there. So what we need to do to actually delete that is instead of deleting the text from down here, let me just bring it back using Command and Z, we are going to select the number here and you'll see it's selected, and then we're going to press the delete key. And now you'll see when we go down, the footnote has been removed. And if we keep scrolling, we can see the number which was number two originally has become number one, and the number which was number three has become number two. And they've also updated down here. So that's how you can work with footnotes. You can also add endnotes to your document. And if you want to learn how to work with endnotes, then check out this video tutorial here.